Okay, welcome. Today's video, Slovenia, village life versus city life. We moved last week to Ljubljana. Some maybe Ljubljanites might say it's not technically Ljubljana because we're outside of the ring. <sighs> There's a bug on me. <sighs> but I say we were incorporated into Ljubljana years ago. So I could get into specifics here, but we live in an apartment complex that is... You know, it feels very European. I'd lived in an apartment complex in Spain and it had the same kind of, well, not the same. There's a courtyard in between all the apartments here. It's just space between communal area, park. It's really nice. Some benches, kids play. There's some communal balls. So <clears throat> I think Rumi's enjoying it quite a bit because she could go out the door and there's playground and kids and we have switched cats uh, this was life in morocco for dogs there's a lot more dogs here than in the village there's some dogs in the village but here everyone's always taking them out for walks these dogs tend to be smaller i'd say this is the the biggest surprise to me that i didn't expect was a lot of dogs a lot of small dogs small dogs aren't always the most friendly but the people like them in their apartments speaking of friendliness I've met a few people around here, but I don't find people in the city as friendly as a village. I think this is quite normal, not just in Slovenia, but uh, from my experience in Morocco as well. Cities are a bit more anonymous and villages are more tight knit. And you're like, hey, who's that person I've never seen before? And they will ask about you or something like that. Versus my first week here at the uh, apartment complex. I haven't really uh, met anyone in there. We stood kind of around. Rumi's kind of shy with the kids. I'm trying to get her out there, but uh, we need to break the ice or something because she's not doing it. And I'm a bit shy. Uh, I speak English with Rumi when I'm out. And I think people hear that and maybe they avoid me. I don't know. <clears throat> there was some sort of party on Monday where there were balloons and pizza and snacks and drinks. And it looked like a birthday party, but Andrea suspected it was like a block party for the first of the week. So we kind of lingered around the outskirts. No one talked to us at all. Uh, I don't want to feel entitled to like, hey, uh, someone should talk to us, but it's, you know, we're new and they probably know that. They've never seen us before. It'd be a nice gesture, but uh, not, not, uh, not happening. And in the end, they had like a balloon garland up and Rumi was playing it and they took it down and they're popping some and they gave the kids some and Rumi really wanted a balloon. So I was asking anyone with two balloons if uh, Rumi could have one. You know, there's an adult with two balloons. There's a small child with two balloons. So I asked their parents and no one would give Rumi a balloon. I, I didn't quite understand their responses. Something like... Uh, Oh, but she wants two balloons or something like that. And I, I just felt bad for Rumi because I couldn't get her a balloon when all these kids had them. Some kids even had two balloons. I think it would have been a good lesson for sharing. Again, I don't want to say that like we're entitled to a balloon, but I know if Rumi had two balloons and some little girl came asking or her father for a balloon, I would show Rumi that, hey, we have a balloon. Here's a balloon. There's balloons for everyone. So I was a little bit surprised by that, how hard it was to get a balloon and how hard it's been to actually like uh, integrate or meet people. Uh, don't know anyone's name. I met one guy in the forest here. He was friendly. I met one guy at another park. He had just moved into the neighborhood. So he's in a similar situation, but uh, it's proven difficult. At least my commute is much shorter now. I appreciate that. It takes about 15 minutes to get to work instead of an hour and a half. So it's great. Stores are close by. We're, we're back in civilization. So I can stop at a shop on the way home from work or even walk to one with Rumi in the evening. That's been super nice. Uh, work first full week, you know, no half day on Friday, no relax Friday. And it was exhausting. So this is a Friday little vlog for you. A little life update from Ljubljana. Another thing, Rumi likes it here. She likes the apartment, but she keeps saying, let's go to Morocco. Let's go to Morocco. And I said, next year. She said, no, now. She wants to go now. Why do you want to go to Morocco? Cats. Cats. So the dogs will not suffice. Slovenian winter is coming. Uh, the heat is kind of gone. It's wet and cloudy these days. But we will continue. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.